Judiciary from Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilo, Chief Justice Martha Kome vowed to build an efficient judicial chain to benefit all Kenyans. One of my priorities with your support, ladies and gentlemen, my dear colleagues, is building an efficient institution. I would like to round the judicial officers and staff who have developed a culture of innovation and inclusion in an operating environment with adequate resources in an effort to serve Kenyans to whom we are all beholden. She committed to improve the transformation agenda initiated by Emeritus Chief Justices William Mutunga and David Baraga. To the retired Chief Justice, Dr. William Mutunga, whose blueprint, the Judicial Transformation Framework, set the foundation for the fundamental changes we are enjoying today. And to the immediate former Chief Justice, David Maraga, working very closely with her leadership, the Deputy Chief Justice, who in guarantee sustained Chief Justice Mutunga's transformation with many initiatives that focused every on service delivery. One great important thing, uh, Chief Justice, please keep reminding all of us, everybody, that constitutional power is constrained power. So that everybody keeps to his or her lane, we have a wonderful country. Kome cited funding as one of the major challenges in the judiciary, saying this would be remedied by actualization of the Judiciary Fund. I wish to note that the Judiciary Fund, which is established under Article 173 of the Constitution, is yet to be operationalized. We will continue to build the case for additional funding and a sustainable budget for these investments and judiciary functions based on our track record and means of Kenyans. Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu, who served as Acting Chief Justice, assured Kome of her support. Uphold the dignity and the respect for the judiciary and the judicial system and promote fairness, independence, competence, and integrity within it. Sentiments echoed by the executive arm of government through Attorney General Kihara Kariuki, among other stakeholders. The office and the Department of Justice and I personally commit my total support in all things lawful as your ladyships walk this path. Each of us in the Commission remain committed to the cause of securing the independence of the judiciary. We are saying only one thing to you, that the Kenyans have not misplaced their trust. We are proud that as a country, for the first time, we are having a first lady chief justice, and we are equal to the task. Chief Justice Kome becomes the 15th chief justice of Kenya, the third under the new constitution, and the first female head of the judiciary. Colorful and auspicious are hardly suitable words to describe this event. Chief Justice Martha Kome has for years championed children and women's rights. Now she has the Herculean task of championing 50 million Kenyan rights at the judiciary arm of government. For Channel One News, I'm Ben Troy from the Supreme Court.